Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the force acting on an object due to the change in momentum. You should then be able to describe how safety features such as car seatbelts reduce the dangers of changes in momentum. And all of this is for triple physics students only. Over the last couple of videos we've looked at momentum. Remember that we calculate momentum by multiplying the mass of an object by its velocity. One key idea that you need to understand is that rapid changes in momentum can be extremely dangerous. I'm showing you here a crash test. Car manufacturers use crash tests to design safety features such as seat belts. During a car crash, the momentum of the passengers falls from a large amount to zero in less than a second. This places huge forces on the passengers and that can be lethal. So we're going to start by taking a look at the maths involved. Now this can look a bit tricky, but bear with it and it will become clear. We saw in a previous video that to calculate the force acting on an object, we multiply its mass by its acceleration like this. And we calculate the acceleration by using this equation. The acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time taken. Now we can combine these two equations together to calculate the force, and I'm showing that equation here. The force equals the mass multiplied by the change in velocity divided by the change in time. I should point out that you are given this equation in the exam, so you don't need to learn it. Now, there is a key part of this equation that you need to understand. The mass multiplied by the change in velocity is simply another way of saying the change in momentum. So the force acting on an object is the change in momentum divided by the time. Here's a question for you. A man with a mass of 100 kilograms is a passenger in a car. The car is travelling at 30 meters per second. The car comes to a stop in one second. Calculate the force acting on the man. So pause the video now and try this question yourself. OK, the man has a mass of 100 kilograms. The initial velocity was 30 meters per second and the final velocity was zero. This means that the change in velocity is 30 meters per second. The time taken is one second. Putting these into the equation gives us a force experienced by the man of 3000 newtons. Now that force acting on a person could be fatal. So as we've seen, rapid changes in momentum lead to huge forces applying, and these are extremely dangerous. We can reduce that danger if we make the change in momentum happen over a longer time. I'm going to look at that now. I'm showing you here five safety devices which slow down momentum change. We've got airbags and seatbelts in a car. We've got a crash mat for athletics, a bike helmet, and a cushion surface in a playground. All of these slow down momentum change. This reduces the forces acting and reduces the risk of serious injury. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on changes in momentum in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.